Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Mrs. Smith and everybody. Okay, so Monday again. Uh, you'll have to excuse me, I'm looking a little bit bleary eyed because I am reading 420 reports before they all get emailed out to everyone. Uh, I'm up to 370 at the moment, so I haven't done them all today, but yeah, very, very busy. So anyway, what's in the news? Uh, there's been some horrible news over the weekend, and I'm not going to go through all of that, but I would really encourage particularly the junior children to go on to Newsround and have a look at some details. They've got lots of information on um, some things that happened over the weekend, including what happened in Reading. So uh, rather than me doing this for assembly for the whole school, worth having a look at news round. Okay, let's put a nice friendly face up on the here. Uh, I don't know if anyone know who's, knows who this is. No, his name is Gavin Williamson. And actually I spend quite a bit of time watching him because he uh, is Minister for Education. So when they make decisions on what's happening with schools, he tends to be the person who does the conference, news conference and things like that. So he has been saying that um, he wants everyone back in September. Thank goodness for that. So fingers crossed. Uh, I'm talking to year sixes at the moment and I know they can't wait to get to their secondary schools and be back in full time in school in September. So we'll wait and see, but it's looking hopeful. Next one, please. So this, uh, why do you think I've got this up with the two meter on? I wonder if anyone watching, can, right, what do you reckon? Um, isn't it on Thursday they're bringing it down to one? Well, yeah, who knows? It may even be tomorrow. So there's, um, there's been lots of research. They're trying to work out if the increased risk um, of catching coronavirus uh, is worth it moving from two meters because it's harder to get coronavirus if you're two meters apart and if, but if you reduce it to one meter is that risk worth it because they want well why do you think they want to reduce it to one meter why do you think and those people watching think why do you think they want to change it to one meter because um, apparently there was like a little thing with the birthday cake and we can't mm, really no nothing nothing to do with birthday cake but <laughs> Do you know what? Always like a birthday cake. Is this something you can get more money? Yes, it's because, thank you for that, Eli. Yeah, because um, they're hoping to be able to open things like uh, pubs and restaurants and things like that. But if you've got two metre distance between everyone, it's going to be really tricky to actually get enough customers in. But they're saying they may change it to one metre, but they may have it so that people are sitting back to back or um, side to side rather than facing each other. Presumably if you go to dinner with someone, you can sit opposite them, it's, it's more the other people. So we'll have to wait and see, and that may have um, implications for all sorts of things, especially all the shops that have bought the signs that say two meters, they're all gonna have to redo all their signs and get the tipex out and change it to one. Well. Next one, please. Okay, I'm not going to spend ages on this because if you're a football fan, you know this. It started last week. There's been loads of matches. And um, yes, and if you're an Arsenal fan, you may have been crying over the last few days. That's all I'm saying. Enough of that. On to the next one. Okay, that makes my eyes water just looking at that. Um, so it this week, it is National School Sports Week. Uh, and then it's got an extra couple of words, which is basically at home. So uh, we were due to have our sports week actually next week because of various other things that were due to happen this week in school. But of course, it's all changed. Um, but there has been an email that's gone out to everyone today that says about this. And there are various challenges and there are different challenges that are going on each day. Next slide, please. So today's challenge is all to do with athletics. Um, so anyway, check out your email, uh, check out what's going on. I think there's also a sheet where you can record and also if there are any photos of you doing all these sporty challenges this week and you want to share them with me and we can put them on the website, get them emailed in either to um, Miss Gregory, uh, class 13 at blah, 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 or at admin at. Next one. Okay. 
This is the new story that matters to most people this week. After last week and all of the rain, and the, well, it was quite horrendous really last week, uh, it's going to be Scorchio this week. So if you have a look at this, this is for Bulldog. Uh, nice today, nicer tomorrow. Up to 30 degrees on Wednesday. 30 degrees on 30, uh, Thursday. Friday, they're now saying 32 degrees. That is so, so hot. Uh, and then it goes back to normal 25. And then by Sunday, it's looking like it's gonna be raining. But that is amazing. And I think that could possibly on Friday, we could get up to the hottest day of the year, but I don't know. So please take care, particularly if you're doing all these sporty challenges, make sure you're drinking lots of water, um, make sure you're wearing sunscreen, wearing hats, etc. But yeah, isn't that amazing? It, hopefully it's not the whole summer. And hopefully, yes, we've got nice weather this week and it, it gets back to sunny but warm next week. Okay, next one. <laughs> so the reason I've chosen this is my R picture for the week is that on, I don't know if anyone watched the television on, I think it was Friday night and there was a program on otters and it was a cameraman and he was um, recording all these, all these different sorts of otters and it just reminds me how much I love sea otters because they are so gorgeous and they are, yeah, they're just lovely. I just love them to pieces. Anyway, so that's something to make you go R. I hope you all, hope you all have a good week. And uh, as I said, be careful in the sun.